Good evening, I'm Erica Natividad. There is growing concern tonight over the safety of Toronto's playgrounds and schoolyards after four children were taken to hospital after handling used syringes. Now, this happened in two separate incidents over the span of about, of a, about a week. One of those incidents was here at Jesse Ketchum Daycare. The parents of a three-year-old boy say their son found a discarded syringe in the playground and accidentally put it in his mouth. So it was around in this area yeah, that you found? Just, just uh, on the ground. It happened in a split second. Last Thursday evening, Anastasia says her three-year-old son Bogdan was playing basketball when the ball got away from him and led him to the base of this tree where he found a discarded syringe. This all happened again in a matter of one or two seconds. He picked it up, uh, he uh, put it next to his face and he actually like uh, put it in his mouth. And uh, everyone was in shock, was in panic. Their son thought the syringe looked like a thermometer. Anastasia called 911 right away and Bogdan was rushed to sick kids for blood work. I'm praying to God they're, they're negative and they should be negative. Um, but, uh, but yeah, it's just very stressful. The kids can pick up literally anything on the floor and if there are syringes and, and sharp objects like that in the vicinity of, of the school, in the playground and, and daycare, it's really scary, right? Just yesterday morning in the area near St. Vincent de Paul Catholic Elementary School near Roncesville Avenue and Dundas Street West, another similar incident. Police say three young children picked up discarded syringes and are believed to have been poked by them. A spokesperson for the Toronto Catholic District School Board says the syringes were found in the surrounding school area and that paramedics were immediately called and the kids' parents notified. In a statement to City News, the school board says custodial staff conduct a daily inspection of the school grounds for discarded needles or syringes, and if found, they are collected in appropriate disposal containers, and they notify the OHS department, and a medical waste contractor is sent to pick up the container. The school sent a letter home to parents today. Allison Douglas Cook with Toronto Police Services says she hasn't noticed an increase in the incidence of syringes found near schools or playgrounds, but says this is an opportunity to educate parents. It's very concerning to us and this is why we feel that this is an opportunity just to remind everyone to, to have that conversation with their children, discuss it with them. If ever they see a syringe or a needle, don't touch it, notify an adult immediately. Now, Bogdan's parents will receive the results of his blood work today. Even if it's negative, they will have to take him again in a month for another test just to make sure. Now, they are calling for more police presence in the area. They also want daycare staff to be more diligent when it comes to sweeping the area for harmful objects. We did reach out to the staff here, but they did not get back to us in time for broadcast.